Hey, what's going on? It's time for a tech update. This one is for sometime in September, early September, I believe. Friday. I've stopped counting the actual episode numbers. September I no 4th. Idea. I think we're on episode 72. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, dive right into it. What do we got for uh, for everybody this week? Wait, wait, no, no banter? No banter. Yeah. Go. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'll start with the big one. Uh, X, uh, EVGA just released a four-way X58 SLI classified motherboard. Uh, and Thank well, God. Yeah, if this is something that no one's ever going to buy. The motherboard's doing a four-way. I'm in. Take a look at this uh, just ridiculous motherboard. It doesn't even fit in regular case because it has seven PCI Express 2.0 slots. Uh, I mean, just look at all those beautiful, beautiful look slots. Look at all those slots. Seven, seven PCI Express X16 2.0s. Actually, four of them are going to run in full X16, so you can do quad SLI. 600 watts of power with the uh, two 8-pin motherboard connectors, like a bunch of socket blings, what, what they call it. What would you do with seven slots? I don't know, man. Like, really? Look at that. Uh, what, low ESR, those? ESL film capacitors. Uh, for clean power, 10-phase digital pulse with modulation instead of analog VRMs, up to 24 gigabytes of memory. I mean, this thing is just out of control. And on top of that, they released the GTX 285 Classified, which is a new board literally just for overclocking. It's got voltage points uh, for checking the actual voltages. Uh, clean power with the uh, low ESR ESL film capacitors as on the Classified motherboard. Uh, extreme overclocking switch, uh, which I don't really know what it does. It's a X cool switch, too. I think it just cranks up the fan. Eight phase pulse width modulation for a graphics card. That's crazy. And then on top of that, it's got an additional six pin PCI Express plug. So that's like three instead of two. That's ridiculous. And then uh, wow. I don't even know what that is, but you can plug in this EV bot, which is a <laughs> hand overclocking tool that I don't think is really out yet. But it's just like, a, like, or like it's just a random. It doesn't even look like a real device. It looks like something they just made up to plug in there, and they're, they're going to figure out what to do One with it later. One day we'll throw something together. That's yeah. very true. It kind of does look like that. I'm sure they, they kind of worked on it. That's what I thought about Tegra, the entire NVIDIA Tegra thing. I thought it was all like fake vaporware <laughs> until they released it. And I was like, oh, wow, it really does exist. You know? But really, what do you put in seven, video, seven of those slots? You got you know, like seven, you, got, you put your three video cards in, or well, your four video cards in, and then that leaves three. Like, uh, I don't, you, what else I don't you put know. In I don't know what to tell you, man. It's crazy. It's uh, no one's gonna use it, but you are gonna see new world records drop with 4 SLI. So all the 3D Mark Vantage records are gonna go. And I right saw on. a picture of Kingpin Liquid uh, he extreme cooling his all four graphics cards and the CPU and overclocking. Nice. So. I don't have anything, any pictures or anything, but I, I do have a, a couple things to talk about. All One right. is that there are scientists working on contact lenses that are gonna show data to you right through your eyeballs and be powered by like solar energy. And and all of this stuff, and it's it's working in bunnies. All right, they've got they are. Is that actually, a real picture? Yeah, they actually have a prototype of one of these. All right, now it only has a couple of LEDs on it. All right, just uh. a couple of LEDs, but it does. It is going to actually be like. They're there. Like, they have the technology. Like, it's self-powering. Wow. It's able to display, not information, just like a couple of dots. Dots, like right. Like, that's really all it's doing right okay, now. Okay, fair enough. But it's able to communicate wirelessly with other devices. Like, it's on, that's, bro. That's, I've been waiting for that since I was a little kid. That's great. So, probably not too long from now, you're going to be able to actually see data. Are, uh, are you uh, going to get one? No. 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 I think so. Absolutely not. I didn't think so. You're the man in the know. I've noticed when it comes to Core i5 and Core i7 chips and all that stuff. In fact, you've had like shady stuff all over, all over your desk for like weeks. Yeah. Right. So it's not shady, man. Is it, is it, it's shady. It's an Intel it's in, press it's in, like, kit. It's, in, it's shady. It's, it's like, like it's like in unmarked brown boxes. Unmarked yeah. brown boxes that yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, it, like. But it, this says coming out September 8th. That is true. So that's the day after, like, that's like yeah, next week. Yeah, a few days, yeah. So they, that's when your people are going to be able to get their Core i5 Core chips. i5s and Core i7s, all the P55 boards, all the Linfield stuff, we, it's all going to be out nice. that day. And yep. then I got, I got one more here, and this is actually from the world of the Xbox 360. Oh, no, we're going to talk about return rates? All right. Um, yeah, take a look at this graph here, all right? I mean, here, just pop it up. Look at, there, look at that graph. Look at this. This is how we're rolling today. <laughs> is that the uh, return rate graph? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the... Can you just, can we uh, go to the, right here, right here. There we go. See that graph right there? That is actually the return rate, or actually the red ring of death rate. And ah. it's plummeted down, uh -oh. so it's apparently safe to buy an Xbox 360 now. Like, you are actually going to be able to buy one and not have to worry about it dying at this point. Because, I mean, until now they've had like a 53% failure rate. Yeah, the thing's only been on the, on the, on the market for like 10 years. 
That's about, uh, you'd think it'd be about time. And over half of them have been returned. But it looks like it's it looks like you're safe now. If you and, and just in case you want to get hooked up. Um, speaking about Core i7 and all that stuff and Intel, uh, Intel just kind of will leak details about the Core i3, which is going to come out in the first quarter of 2010. Now the i3? Right. It's is that be the, the Celeron the of, the budget. I, of the i? And sort of. It's the, new, it's the new Nahalem architecture moved into a dual core chip. Really, really cheap, you know, okay. more affordable. But uh, they're saying it's going to start at 2.93 gigahertz, which is actually a really fast frequency that they weren't expecting. And uh, this is stuff we're going to see like at, uh, at CES when we go. Very cool. We're going to be see all this new stuff. So, and the fact that it's a 2.93 gigahertz, it's actually pretty fast with uh, onboard. They're letting us go back there, huh? They're letting us go back to CES. Yeah, man, we were pretty good. I thought after you stole that guy's luggage last time, they would never let us back ever again. I give it back. All right, all right. Uh, YouTube is going to be offering paid and ad-supported movie rentals. I, I saw that. Yeah. Um, they're, I guess they want to get a piece of this Netflix streaming pie. They're not going to let this. They don't want to let this get out of control. They got to do something. I mean, they're. They're wasting, so, their site's wasting away. Yeah, they're saying that they're going to, I would love ad-supported movie rentals. I watch them on Hulu now and then. I'm, I, I'm very down. So if they could strike some good deals, that would be, that would be very, very cool. And also, uh, do, you have a, do you have the Sony Vio X uh, mm -hmm. there? Because mm -hmm. they, they've been talking about this. this has been, there's a big tech show going on in Germany right now. And this is uh, something new from Sony, this really, really ultra thin, One. super light, like where, what does it weigh, like a pound? Look, here it is uh, compared to a MacBook Air, which is, or I think it might be a Pro there. Uh, I mean, that's just tiny though. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, that thing is slick. I keep, I saw it, there it is. There it is. That is a slick little computer. And I, now they said right now it's powered by an Atom though, right? They didn't say, nobody knew. It could better be a be. ULV. I would hope it's a, a CLUV. It absolutely better not be an Atom processor. It's, it's probably yeah, it looks far too awesome. It's made that. out of carbon fiber. I mean, it weighs 1.5 pounds. It's half an inch thick, so it makes a MacBook Air, you know, look like an obese whale. Like it's going to cost a lot of money, and if they put an Atom in it, people are not. No one's going to buy it. We overclocked the orb, we right? Made a little bigger. We and put it. and the the problem is what we didn't realize when we overclocked this is that they have recently put in like new lights in here, right? And they're like and they're they're like blindingly bright. You can I, see them. Like, I mean, I can't see anything going on out here, and like you can't now you can't see it anymore. Now it just looks like a stupid glass ball on top of the desk, which I mean, is, it's, which it's, is it's, unfortunate. It's actually going, it's on right now. Response to our voices and everything. It's yeah. just, look at, look at that. It just sits there looking like it does nothing. And we tried so hard. It's very disappointing. Yeah. I'm, I, I can't get over this today. We gotta go get the classic one back. So you know, I'm, uh, this is my last tech update for the next couple weeks. I, I, I heard. It is officially my last tech update As for a, single, a couple weeks. As a single man? As a single man. Marrying some tramp that I met in Vegas. Las Vegas a couple hey. weeks ago. What's that? Yeah. Oh, she is. And I'm very excited about it. <laughs> we are. We're going out. We're gonna go. We're going out for the honeymoon, which is going to be uh, the bike, the motorcycle ride across the country, staying uh -huh. in some KOA campgrounds. Nice. Uh, very classy. Little Motel Six in there uh -huh. uh, along the way. Walk her through the doorway. It's gonna be awesome. Good stuff, no, man. I'm very, very happy for well, you. Yeah. She's kind of. You deserve it. Yeah. She's kind of trashy. You, you know. You deserve that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of new stuff going on as far as cameras go, and the big one is at the end of the month we're going to be seeing the 7D. Uh, but ironically enough, I'm actually more interested in this. Canon just introduced their first hybrid image stabilization lens, and it's a 100 millimeter macro lens. Um, basically, it's an f2.8. Uh, it's an IS USM lens from that, so it's kind of a hybrid IS feature. It has both in camera and in lens stabilization. Um, and it has technology that will compensate for both angle and shift and shake and it has four shutter speed stops I mean, it's really really nice. It's compatible with all the new cameras including the 7D and of course the 7D I mean, have you read about it seen all this stuff? Yeah, it's 1080p like a, it looks 30 like a nice frames. camera like a really nice camera It'll do 60 frames at at 720p. Yeah, like it's like it's not like too crazy professional But like it's sort of a really the just price solid. is beautiful. Yeah, it's like 1700 I think for the body only and uh, it's, it's got bad. dual image processing chips just like the D1S does so you, it means you can like you know how like the image processor is oh, that's only right because it can shoot like get, like eight full frames a second or something like right, that right and then it'll keep going yeah it'll actually won't slow down that much so that's nice. really cool too um, also did you hear that uh, eBay was sold or eBay sold Skype to some investors from I think like Finland and Canada some random investors and like eh, I guess they didn't know what to do with it apparently they lost probably a few hundred million dollars in the transaction they bought it for like three billion a few years ago and they sold it that's for a like couple hundred million two point seven five billion when you're dealing in billions. It's the billion already here, but still. Hopefully they'll do something good with it because right Skype's on. kind of been.
plateauing. There's nothing really new coming out. Like no one is new, using it for anything new lately. Yeah, what else do you need? It sounds good and it's cheap. The fact that it lost value kind of sucks. Uh, it's got so much, so it much potential. With. That that could be true. Yeah, that could be true. Well, I'm all done. So that's all I got. I'm gonna go get hitched. Good. And then good luck with that. Good luck with that. I don't want to see. Don't have kids. They're gonna be hot. Uh huh. Yeah, especially with this chick. Yeah. Man, she's crazy. Solid gold. Yeah. Just white trash. That's, that's, where, she, that's where she worked that. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Nice. All right. See all you later. later. Peace out. You dirty, dirty trampy.